good morning. Georgia says good morning too, but she's falling asleep. Today is March 1st, which means that spring is on its way. I say that, but meanwhile, it looks like a huge winter wonderland outside because we literally just got five more inches of snow yesterday. I looked at the forecast though, and it doesn't look like as of right now, we're gonna get any more major storms and it's going to be over freezing for the next several days. So like upper 30s, lower 40s. So we'll have some melting action going on. Georgia is just being the cutest right now. She's so seepy. So my show that I had been talking about the past couple of vlogs is all over now, just like that. It flew right by. My last show was this past Sunday. It was truly a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that I think I'm going to audition again for their next show. The auditions are March 10th and 11th, I think, around there for their Shakespeare play. They are doing Much Ado About Nothing, so I decided, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I will audition for that one and they can pick me or not. I'll just let them decide. I was really torn up about whether I wanted to audition again or not because, you know, it was hard working full time and then also doing a show. I had absolutely zero downtime, which is why you saw pretty much no YouTube videos from me was because I was just busy the whole time. But I really enjoy it so much and I feel bad that I didn't really document it as much as I wanted to. I'm hoping that if I get into this next one that I will document it a bit more. And today is my first day off that I've had since starting the play. You know, I haven't had like a full day off in weeks, which is kind of amazing and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this free time that I have. I'm catching up on stuff and just relaxing. Dan's at work and he also has class. I think today is his later day, so he won't even be home until like 6 or 6.30 or something like that. So I'm basically alone the whole day. I haven't really figured out what else I'm going to do other than just catching up on stuff like catching up on housework, catching up on YouTube, like all of those things. It's just probably just going to be a big catch up day for me. Something pretty exciting that I want to talk to you guys about is that Dan and I are trying to decide which concert we should go see this summer. So a few days ago, I saw that Weezer is doing a concert in Bangor, Maine. And I was, I asked Dan, I'm like, do you want to go to that? Because he likes Weezer. Um, and he said, sure, tickets don't go on sale until this Friday. So we were planning to do that. However, yesterday... I found out that the Foo Fighters added a show in New Hampshire, and Dan loves the Foo Fighters. Like, they're one of his top favorite, probably top five favorite bands. So I brought that up to him, and he definitely wants to go to that. Again, tickets are on sale this Friday. So tickets are on sale this Friday for both. So we're really going to take a look at like the ticketing prices and that'll kind of be our main deciding factor as far as which concert we'll go to. We could go to both, but that's very expensive, so we're not going to do that. But <laughs> we're just going to pick one because we want to be a at least a little bit financially responsible. So obviously if Dan could pick one, Foo Fighters would be his number one pick but if the tickets for the Foo Fighters are like way more expensive than the ones to go see Weezer then we'll probably just go see Weezer but I'm mainly leaving that up to Dan because those are two bands that 
he is more interested in than I am. The last couple of concerts we went to, they were both bands that I wanted to see. Um, last year, we went to go see Shinedown, The Pretty Reckless, and Diamante in Portland. I mainly just wanted to see The Pretty Reckless. Dan liked Shinedown, so he was happy about that. Um, he likes The Pretty Reckless, too, but I'm, like, a huge fan of The Pretty Reckless. And then Diamante was the opening act, and I became obsessed with her music after that concert, so... I would definitely see both of them again if they were ever to tour near us. And then before the pandemic happened, we went to go see Hailstorm, Alice Cooper, and Motionless and White. But we actually only saw Motionless and White and Hailstorm. We left before Alice Cooper came on because neither of us are really like huge fans of Alice Cooper. So... We left and it was a good thing we beat all of the traffic to get out of there. But like I said, Hailstorm and The Pretty Reckless were both bands that I wanted to see and I think it is Dan's turn to see some bands that he really wants to see. Now we're just waiting for Green Day to tour near us because that is like Dan's absolute favorite band. He would drop everything to go see Green Day if they were touring near us, so Green Day. Come to Maine or New Hampshire, please. <laughs> I just finished washing the dishes, including the cat's dishes, and she always comes over here. Oh, now she's acting like she didn't do anything, but she always comes over here thinking that it's time for food. Anytime I move the bowls, so. I try to be super duper quiet, but they always, especially this one, they always hear it and they always come for me. You want to show them how cute you are? No, you're not going to do it. She'll stand on her hind legs to try to reach you. She doesn't want to do it. I haven't shown Patches yet, but I will show you him now because he's literally just sat under here all day and he sits there to make sure that we're not leaving on any more trips. Because whenever we take out the suitcase and start packing things, he knows. He knows, and he gets upset. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Crazy kitty. I mean, you can play with that all you want. We don't care about that. Oh, look who showed up. It's Patches. Uh-oh. It's gonna be playtime, huh? She's in a crazy mood. He just woke up. But these two like to go at it, like, in the evening. Either, like, right after dinner, they, like, chase each other. Or at, like, four in the morning, they'll chase each other. So I know this vlog is not very exciting at all. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for today. I'm really not planning on doing much else. I've just been cleaning and just catching up on stuff like that. So kind of a boring day, but in the next vlog, I will let you guys know which concert we are planning on going to. Leave a comment down below. Give me your guesses as far as which concert we're going to end up going to this year. Are we going to go to Foo Fighters or are we going to go to Weezer? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my videos, be sure to give this video a like and make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any new videos from me. Hopefully now that I have a little bit more free time, I can actually spend some more time on making more YouTube videos. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.